Okay, here is our mannequin marine soldier, whatever he's going to be. Six foot some tall, 38 inch chest. And the question is, can we fit him in a size 38 uniform? So common during World War II. Well, this is a nice looking one. What is this? 38? This is the uh, 38R. And 38 is a fairly typical, uh, probably the most common size for World War II uniforms. What do you think? Uh, Thank you for that insight. Thank you for that insight. <laughs> So before we go into the incredible hassle of seeing if we can get the arms on, let's just see if the basic uh, chest hole size works. Because if it doesn't, then this is a short test. Let's look at Harris. Can you button it up? I can. All right. Yep. It, the 38R actually buttons up. Well, it actually fits, don't you think? Fits good, 38R. And look, there's room in there. I had expected it to be, to fit, but be very tight. So, let's see what we can do with the arms. Before we do arms, let's put the cap on them. Yeah, the cap fits his head. What size of the cap is it? Uh, this is a seven, size seven. seven. Okay, that's pretty small. It's pretty small, but it fits him. So, is the arm going to fit? So far, so good. Well, I did not think we were going to be able to get that in there, and the secret was don't have a big t-shirt like that. There's no reason to have a t-shirt under this anyway. We're going to try one more. I think we got another 38 over there. I'll get, a, I'll get a shirt, like a dress shirt, and we'll see what it's like putting this together with a shirt inside there. But we took the, uh, we took the Ike jacket off without taking off the arms. We put the arms, but we just slid it down. So now we're trying to see if we can put the shirt on without taking the arms off and wow Harris <laughs> amazing so here is the easy way to get a coat on to this mannequin put the arms on put the arms behind the mannequin take and slide the sleeves onto the arms give it a little help to get past the fingers, there we go. Okay, can you see that? That's the hard part, getting the sleeves onto the arms. And then to finish the job, we just slide it up like that. And we're ready to go. This even worked when we had the shirt on the mannequin. Remember, we used the zip ties to hold the shirt tight against the arm so it would stay put when we slid the arm through this. It works! So our challenge now will be to put the uh, jacket over this. So what size is this thing? This thing is a 38. Do we have proof of that? Some documentation, provenance? Uh, I saw it somewhere. When in doubt, check the inside breast pocket. Ooh, it gets trickier. This is not a 38 regular, it's a 37 regular. And we're gonna to try to get that on over a shirt. I'd say this is a pretty good test then if we can do this. <laughs> what do you think, soldier? Shows how you get started putting this thing on. So, jacket's back there. And I think I'm going to step back for a moment because I may be needed to help figure out uh, how to keep the uh, sleeve from bunching up. So we're going to try a little experiment here. Uh, the sleeves ride up when you put the coat sleeves over that. And that's not surprising. I mean, it's a fairly narrow sleeve opening tube, if you will. So 
I was going to use some rubber bands to see if I could hold this down, but good old uh, zip ties. All right, we have the cuffs <laughs> zip tied down. So now can we slip the coat over that? Can't hear us. We'll try to. Does that feel a little bit easier having those tied down? Totally. Okay. Second side, put the arm back into the okay. socket. Let me uh, turn this off for a second. So this is the 37 inch coat with shirt on a 38 inch chest. Is it gonna is it gonna go? <laughs> I'm just pulling up the last shoulder and it looks like it's going to fit. Well the key although is although it's tight. Can you can you button it? Alright. Now comes the moment. Button these and not have any pool. And remember we have a wool shirt under here. Those are tight, aren't they? They are tight. Sometimes the buttonhole seems to be about a quarter inch narrower than the button. But they do work. I am shocked that the 37 uniform with the shirt under it fit onto the 38 inch mannequin. And you can see that it's really pretty easy to put this together. Oh, as Harris just pointed out to me, we did get the arms on backwards. So I'll give a, uh, a thumbs down for that part of the video. All right. So time to take this off. Uh, amazing job, Harris, getting that thing up on there. The next shot we're going to do is going to be the uh, was a 34. We'll take the arms off. Now, of course, it would be stunning if the 34 could actually hang there without the arms. And again, that's the thing you got to remember on this. Um, if, you, if you don't use the arms, it still looks kind of nice. But um, at the same time, you know, you could probably, you know, things wouldn't fit as tight. So you might be able to get it. Who knows? You might be able to get a 36 in here. Careful, he's ticklish. So, we wanted to show you what it looked like using the 37 coat and not having um, not having the arms. How's it feel? A lot looser? Totally. Yeah, look at that. That's Now here's what the chest is measured. The chest is measured right under the armpits. There's actually a little, uh, you know, an inch in there. So, look at that. There's more so play at the waist. I would say if you don't need the arms uh, for some reason, well, you know, you're going to be able to maybe get a little bit smaller uniform out here. So, are you ready to try the 34? Yeah, let's try her out, Bob. Where's the tag in this one here? 34L. That may make a little difference in uh, sleeve length, but we're not going to do this with arms. So, it's a it's a certified 34. Check this That's out. Amazing. It's a 34. I, I just, you know, I thought, well, you know, it would be up here and it'd be a gap about like that or something. Or look at that. I think if you had a little patience with this one, you might be able to get a shirt underneath of it. Okay, a quick finale. I was taking this size 34 uh, eye jacket off of the uh, mannequin and I said, I wonder just for the heck of it, can we get the arms in there? And I want to be the first to shake my hand. Yes, Mrs. Adams. Uh, I was watching the Adams Family on YouTube last night. This would make a good lurch with the right makeup. Yeah, the sleeves are a little bit short. And the buttons are a little bit harder to button with the uh, arms in. So it does verify our theory that... Uh, you know, you might be able to squeeze a little more onto this if you do not use the arms. This is a clear case of where it's probably best not to, but it can be done. Again, a 34 chest on a 38-inch mannequin. 
and uh, I think we're about done here. Uh, I think that's a wrap, Bob. Yeah, thanks it looks to uh, beautiful. Thanks to Prop Master uh, Prop Master Harris for bringing these over so we could do the definitive test on the mannequins and old war uniforms. Over and out. Rusty Bob, over and out.